Good afternoon, students. Uh, I'm Arindam Bhag. Today, our topic is uh, "What Spain Was Like" by Pablo Neruda. So, <clears throat> let us uh, let us try to understand what this poem is all about. So, let us try to understand the stanza structure or the structure of the poetry. Now, this particular poetry has twenty two lines, and uh, it has Three stanzas. Now these three stanzas are divided into three sections. The first one has twelve lines. The second one has five lines, and the third one has also five lines. Now that makes total twenty-two. Now another thing you need to note that uh, there is no specific uh, stanza rhyme. There is no specific pattern of rhyme you can you know will not find over there. But there is some repetition. Such as uh, here, one example is given over here in stanza one uh, and uh, uh, one and six in uh, stanza one uh, in in stanza one line number one and uh, line number six in stanza one. Let us find what what it is all about. So here it is. Here is the poem. Here is the text over here. So <clears throat> the first line uh, is this one drum head. Now. Let us find um, the sixth line. That is one, two, three, four, five, six. So that means so there is a similarity between head and bread. The two words are head and bread. And this is happening in stanza one, line number one and six. These two. There is some similarities in it regarding rhyme. So apart from that, there are number of instances of half or slant rhymes too. These words are that are not perfect rhymes, but have noticeably similar sounds. So it can happen there. We have seen several examples like this in uh, in previous in other poetries. Successful example is third in line number two. So where is line number two? Here it is. line number 2 here we have the word third and uh, <coughs> in line 12 of the first stanza uh, you have the word god third and god they are not similar but very close third and in false god there is a similarity third which appears in uh, line number 2 and the word god it appears sorry uh, god which appears in line number 12 so you can see similar structure like that <coughs> so <coughs> uh, the previous uh, text in this side uh, was a bit uh, difficult to handle so i need to change this one so we have some uh, repetition over here you can see that uh, as you have find in the word head and in the word bread and then we have this third and this one is god so it is important that neruda's personal history uh, should be learned uh, you should first uh, go through the personal history of um, neruda otherwise it will be a bit difficult to understand why he was writing a poem on spain while he was himself born in chile so it appears that uh, he adopted uh, the country spain so he even uh, fought the spanish civil war and um, which uh, uh, about who, who which he is extremely proud about that he fought for spain the poem uh, what spain was like seems like a harsh examination of the social and political issues of this day but it has uh, it was done from place to uh, place of respect and concern for the future he uh, is fond of spain and that's why he was uh really concerned about the future of the country he like so the country appears in other works in the source of inspiration for the collection uh, in our hearts so it is not only the it is not the only poem but uh, he actually wrote some other poems also which uh, refers uh, um or which directly indicates his love towards spain so on my uh, left hand side the text i am using over here you can find this text uh, um um over internet um i will uh, i think i will share it 
at the end of the presentation in your whatsapp group so uh, so what's the summary so let us uh, find a overall summary then we can uh, go to standard wise summary so what we have here the speaker begins uh, describing how spain is under great uh, pressure so in this section you can see that uh, due to civil war and there are many unrest in the country that's why spain was under tremendous pressure so it uh, it's uh, it's very quite um, natural also because um, any country which has a very difficult political situation or rather the political situation scenario is uh, very much disturbed or unrest is there civil war is going on countries like syria countries like syria, libya yemen these countries are also facing the same kind of civil war even in myanmar also so <clears throat> their human rights or the civil rights of the people were um, you know uh, destroyed and uh, they didn't get the minimum uh, facilities or the minimum uh, things which uh, a person need to live so spain was also under that uh, situation and it was pushed into its limits and uh, it was described then pounded like a drum uh, why the word drum has been used drum has been used to uh, signify its highs and lows have been lashed by storms but nero the still finds a great deal to love drum why drum actually refers to uh, civil war the word drum refers to civil war because back in those days during the uh, war it was custom or uh, the tension um, can be described uh, through the word drum its highs and lows have been lashed by storms but neruda still finds a great deal to love he recalls the beauty of the countryside and poor people who live there he moans over the losses the country suffered and how it's changed so uh, in this section uh, we may see his uh, love towards spain uh, towards spain means he doesn't love the uh, soil only but also the people he is really concerned about the people out there how they are living their life how they are affected how they are suffering all the things he is concerned about so uh, in the first stanza we have this in the second part he speaks greater detail of the duality of the country yep um in the second part that means this section here uh, he is describing the duality of the country sometimes it is very rough and sometimes it is very smooth though he has used the symbol of wine over here and uh, wine has been used as a symbol of for the resources the country has to offer sometimes it is very violent and sometimes it is delicate causing good and bad events to befall the land the text ends uh, this particular uh, summary uh, is applicable for both of these stages so the uh, next part is um, the text ends with a hopeful message uh, there might be some uh, peace uh, ultimately the text ends with hopeful message about the resounding goodness of spain that will last longer than the strife yeah the country was fighting uh, for a reason and uh, and he hopes that one day the fighting will end and spain will get back to its own self so now move to the let us move to the uh, analysis detail analysis of the first stanza in the first stanza uh of this piece the speaker begins by using a metaphor by to describe the state of spain during the period of his residence there he used to stay there so that's why i told you earlier that to understand this poetry you need to uh, know the personal history of neruda himself during spanish civil war he participated uh, in the spanish civil war also so it is said uh, be a tout dry drum head he used words like this one i need to sorry yeah i hope you see this one so words like this tout dry drum head daily beating a dull thud flatlands and eagles nest silence last by the storm so this is in the first part first of the poem first part of the poetry so it is said that tout dry drum head it is he described his this country in this manner in this fashion the affairs of the country are pushed to the limit the situation was tensed that's why he used this dry uh, sorry tout dry dry drum head 
so the drum beat of the nation reminds one of the civil war in which neruda fought so drum i told you earlier that 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 the word drum itself represents the civil war which neruda fought so the war lasted from 1936 1936 to 39 and uh, neruda's role in the conflict ended after he was recalled from madrid in 1937 so the role of neruda ended after the conflict so it is clear that neruda sees pain as having endured a great number of hardships it was lashed or beaten just as tom lashes the flatlands or eagles nest so when in the first line what we got here the first uh, two lines depicts the civil war uh, in which uh, spain was involved in and the next one is uh, flatlands and eagle nest silence lashed by the storm the storm also represents the unrest which uh, ravaged the country spain so pardon my handwriting so flatlands means uh, normal land eagles nest means hilly area uh, both of them were affected that's why it has been said high on a hill side although these two are opposite you know normally eagle never eagles nest eagle never Uh, put his nest uh, on a flat land rather it is it it normally create its nest uh, on the hill side so you can see a, a high on hill side although these are two opposite they are both of them were impacted no matter whether you live in a flat land or on a hill both of them were affected due to civil war and uh, spain was touched by war and political social strife so political and social i told you that um, for a good life you should you, you we must have a um, stable political system and social system so spain was uh, suffered spain was uh, disturbed because of um, the absence of these two things so how much to the point of weeping in my soul i love your hard soil your poor bread your poor people how much in deep in the deep place of my being there is still the lost flower of your wrinkled villages motionless in time and your metallic meadows stretch out in the moonlight through the ages now devoured by a false god now from uh, this section to this section it is been evident uh, that how pablo nero the loved that uh, country and how he was um, emotional about this country in the section he says he speaks clearly that uh, this this one this hard soil poor bread no matter whatever it is hard soil spain uh, doesn't have any very good the land is not good for any cultivation or things like that and poor bread and uh, the country it doesn't this uh, this point in history have the capability of producing good solid food so uh, this is because of the ground itself so this is an extended metaphor actually speaking on how deep the problem is now here there is a word like deep place that means the problem whichever spain is having it's very deep you need to understand that one it's very not very uh, easy to resolve issues like that so spain was suffering from a very deep a very um, extended problem of, of my being there is still the lost flower now then we have uh, he also mentions that uh, uh, that uh, when he was there of your wrinkled uh, villages motionless in time and your metallic meadows uh, and stretched out in moonlight through the ages now devoured by a false god now here also you need to know that your poor bread your poor people so you can see that he men- his mention about these two things uh, actually he is very he is very much attached with uh, the poor people and the poor bread they are suffering he is attached with and wrinkled is rather a passive word likely to refers to the damage done to the country wrinkled the word wrinkled villages means the village are villages were not in a good shape because of the civil war uh, people were fighting with each other so the uh, village life was also um, somehow uh, damaged that's why that's how uh, it has been described as wrinkled village that the society Uh, the people living in the village their condition was not good so motionless in time and uh, 
at as if the problem is staying forever and uh, the time is not moving and your metallic meadows uh, stretched out in the moonlight through the edges the meadows it has been stretched out in the moonlight through the edges no matter how long it is now divided by um, uh, divided by a false chord now what happened this metal of metallic meadows have has a reference over here there is a powerful um, alliteration you can see the use of the word uh, use of the letter m it is repeated twice m uh, sorry sorry where is this uh, this one metallic metallic and meadows both of them are repeated so this is uh, alliteration okay stretched out in the moonlight through the edges and um, it shows this is a powerful alliteration that speaks on the contradiction of the world it could be simply describing how everything has been turned turned upside down or thinking on the metal that is now in the fields so uh, now divided by a false god now the country is divided destroyed by a false god or uh, the country is disturbed due to civil war so that's all in the first stanza and uh, <clears throat> i can see the video is bit uh, lengthy over here so i need to conclude this one i will come back to you on the next presentation till then uh this first web line has been explained before you uh, i tried my level best to make things clear i hope uh, you understand uh, the poetry and um, i hope it will be useful for you so this is now next request to you please like share and subscribe my channel and help me grow thank you